Hey Raider Nation, We've got a very, very interesting situation going here on planet Earth. What's heard is, what I personally believe is that a hoax has been pulled on the Western world. My name is Jedi Rich. This is Naked Jedi Channel. Our things can't look. It's so dead. I. It is weird. Look. This is a major fucking street right here. This is Las Vegas Boulevard. I mean, normally this thing would just be fucking just, uh, people would just be flying down here. This is the south end, so I'm right past, Mandalay is right up there. South Point is behind me. And as you can see, It's been a while since the car has even been on this road. It's almost like a bomb had hit. Let me flip this around. Can you guys see all that down there? Hey guys, uh, we're down here on Las Vegas Boulevard, South. So man, where are we at? Walking home from McDonald's from work. So they're still open? Yes. Uh, can you go in there or is it drive through only? You can go in the lobby, but you can't eat there. Great, thanks man, I'll let you go. Thank you, thank, can I use this? Yes. Okay, thank you man, very important. Today's Friday, March 20th. The year is 2020. CE Planet Earth. This is day three. Everyone, thank you. Sheldon Adelson! Oh, hey guys, Jedi Rich here. Today is uh, Friday, March 20th. The current time is 0100 hours and 37 minutes. So when I say 0100 hours and 38 minutes, that means it's 138. We're one hours and 38 minutes into March 20th. Day three of the Vegas shutdown. Hold on. So, it's kind of a, what do you call it? It's kind of late here. So, um, or early, or whatever. Whatever you, whatever, you, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, I'm checking in because, see, Vegas is a 24-hour city. You know, majority of Vegas happens at night. So the people that make things happen here in Vegas, what are, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing right now? Right, you don't know what's going on. Everything's been shut down. And why I'm checking in with you is to let you know a couple things. Everybody relax. The virus is not deadly. Not unless you were gonna die anyways. It's the only people that's really getting affected by this. And the reason why I say that is because, well, I mean, it, I, I, I'm, I'm a photographer, you know? And so what photographers do is they take photos and they document things. And what you can see is you can see a number of things line up and just the way your brain works. You just think in those terms. And uh, I'm bringing this up to myself because I'm working on a video right now, which I have to make, as you guys know, there's not a lot of business in Vegas, so the way that we're making money is that we make videos. Porn, to be specific. Masturbation videos. And my wife is a star. And that's how we do things when things get tough around here. So if you want to support the Jedi, go to JediRich.com and buy a video. We'd appreciate it. Anyways. On the next, yeah, right. The person that sings the song, you can watch her do a porn. Why not? You know, she's a Vegas Raider. She's she putting it out there for you guys. We are doing this, but we're not getting paid for this. Those of you who don't understand how YouTube works, the way it works is you have to be monetized. So when you hear people talking about monetization on YouTube, those people are monetized. The Jedi Joy Rich show is not monetized. In, in other words, we don't make money from this channel. Not yet, anyways. But what we, what, what we are doing is we're building the channel. We're building our community. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a strong community. We've had other social media platforms with a lot of people on them. We've been on Periscope. We've had, we had over 10,000 people following us there. And, and so that, that's not the goal with this channel. This channel is to create a community of people that can work together, you know, contribute ideas. Vital Vegas and Las Vegas locally, they're the big bloggers on Twitter. If you don't know who they are, 
you got to look them up because if you want to know what's happening in Vegas, if you want to know kept it up to the minute, just follow follow them on Twitter. Las Vegas Locally in Vital Vegas. They're, I mean, they will tell you what's happening in the news before the news tells you. So if you're, you know, kind of wondering what's going on, follow them. And then what happens is people read that, and then you'll see the bloggers around here talk about what they tweet. And that's kind of how it goes down. That's that's really why I don't spend too much time to do that. What I do is I collect the data. My my degree is in biology, so I'm what you call a scientist. So what I do is I collect the data. And, and I don't really come up to any conclusions until something pops out. Because I, I don't know what this means until I see it connected to these things. Like a photograph of, of someone handing somebody something doesn't mean anything to me. But then, as you see, if you get more information, well, you look back, I have a photograph of that guy handing that guy that thing. You know, it all makes sense then, you see? So that's what I do. That's when my brain works. So it takes a couple of years. It takes a while before things start to formulate. But... On my iPhone, you see my iPhone, it has over a hundred and something thousand photos. I mean, and those are all in the last couple of years. So I can go through, and they're all around Vegas, mostly. Some in Panama, but mostly Vegas. Um, so that's kind of how, how it works here at JediRich.com Studios. So if that if that helps you guys understand what we're doing here. And I'm, I'm kind of just getting up, working on the video, tweeting, kind of doing my social media game. But I want to let you guys know this. So what's happening in Las Vegas is everything is shut down. This is day three. And if you read the news, I mean, I, I'm, I'm still, I, I'm reading the report. The news anchors don't know what's going on. They don't know what to report on. Why they'd be reporting on anything else other than all that Vegas is turned off. It's been shut down. Now, who shut it down is a big question. You can say, yeah, you know, the governor and all this other stuff. But who has the power to make the governor shut down every casino in Las Vegas? Right. That's where you come into where your belief systems are. I understand that Satanism and science, science are hand in hand. And people only demonized Satanists back in the day because the church was afraid of the knowledge that the Satanists were uncovering. And that is that the church was full of shit. If you left the church, do you guys think you would have ever invented an airplane? No, they ran things for like almost 2,000 years. They didn't do shit. Not until Satan came here. See, Satan woke up. I don't know, around 1900, something like that. Whenever things started to turn, the lights turn on, maybe 1950, rock and roll. You know, they, I mean, the Christians were telling you this. They were telling you that rock and roll was from the devil. They said it was satanic. They told you that throughout the 50s and 60s. But y'all forgot about it. And by the 80s and 90s, y'all, the Christians were doing heavy metal. <laughs> right. Meanwhile, the Satanists were on to something else. They were doing the Internet. And then the Christians got on the Internet. Right. Meanwhile, the Satanists are doing something else. They're trying to get to Mars. Or, well, I don't even know what they're doing. Who knows? All I do is I just sit here and talk, share with you. Now, the reason why I bring all this up is because people say, well, gosh, you don't have subscribers. And, you know, I say stuff that's controversial. Well, I say stuff that is truthful. And just because it's, you don't like it and because it's controversial it doesn't make it fake news. You can unsubscribe. It doesn't matter to me. Because, the, because whether you understand math or not, math still exists. Does that make sense? It doesn't matter. You can't calculate this area. You can't calculate the volume in the space because you don't understand the calculus involved. But that calculus still exists. You just have to uncover it. Fortunately, Pythagorean and a number of other people have already done that for us. You just have to read the books and they'll tell you how to calculate this. But my point being is that that's all scientific. That's all fact. You can ignore it. It doesn't matter. It's still there. Now, if you ignore it long enough, weird things happen like climate change and weird hailstorms. And, you know, like last year in February, we had the worst snowstorm ever here. Now it's, it's beautiful. Well, kind of. Kind of, except for the fact that every sports has been canceled. Does that, does that alarm you all? Okay. So, so for those of you still... Uh, Wondering what's going on. The reason why I, I called this meeting real quick for today, I'm going to be doing these dailies because there's a lot of bartenders, cocktailers, strippers, uh, workers out there who have nothing to do right now. And they're in Vegas. And they're, they're really looking for someone to tell them what to do. And if you're looking to some of your leaders or the bloggers or the TV, they don't know what to do. They've never been in this situation before. Most of them are just cracking jokes and just trying to scratch their heads themselves. But the ones that keep cracking jokes, I don't know how many days are going to keep cracking jokes because this is serious. This has been shut down at a higher level than they can conceive. 
And everything we're doing, everything you're doing, everything the world is doing is now being observed by a higher source. So what are you doing during the shutdown? Are you working to build it back up? Are you working to bring it down? Are you just doing nothing, just observing it? It doesn't matter. The question is, it's all, it's, look, we got 30 days, you know? We're on date, well, we have 28 days now. 29, 20, 28, 27, sorry, I'm going the wrong way. 27 days. So we have that to talk about. Now, here's the, here's the, here's the good news. The, the virus isn't deadly. <sighs> Jedi Joy, just talk, she talks to a lot of people, and they tell her a lot of stuff. And she talked to a guy who had a friend in China who contact, contracted the disease. He said that he got it, he freaked, you know, he had the, got tested positive, got sick, went to the hospital, you know, whatever they, quarantined or went home and just did whatever you do. And he said, and then it was done. Now he's recovered. And, and he said, well, what was the big deal? He said, I don't know. The flu was the same flu, that probably milder than the flu I had last year. It lasted a little longer, but perhaps that's probably because so much attention was put on it, but he didn't understand what the fuss was. And that's when it clicked on me. China has state-run controlled media, meaning that people in China don't even know about Tiananmen Square. They're not aware that there's a slaughter there because they control the media. They, they control what they see. They even control the internet. They don't have access to everything you and I have on the internet. It's state controlled or whatever you want to call that. Now he in China doesn't understand why they shut down Wuhan. It tells me that they could have done this, the whole thing as a hoax on the world to get Vegas to shut down. Now, why would they do such a thing? Well, I don't know. I can think of a number of reasons that, that when you go around, when, you know, if you're a leader, a lot of times in the world, you have to work diplomacy. And if you piss off enough people, you might piss off the wrong person and you might not know like what they're capable of doing. In other words, China was capable of faking their own people to tell them that Wuhan was infected and they all stayed inside. And we saw the video, we freaked out. And then we did the same thing. And then they got the disease and they said, oh, it's not even deadly. And now, right, you know, they, they don't care. They're, they're back, everything is back to normal in China. Meanwhile, we are screwed. DMV people, what are you doing when your tags expired? Cops, you gonna pull over people if they have expired tags? Do you see what's happening? The, the ship's been hit with a, with a torpedo and, and it's losing, it's draining. And, and you all think, okay, in 30 days, we're gonna look to see where the leak's at. Where do you think the leak's gonna be at? Any, anybody, any boaters here? My dad was a captain of, of a sailboat. It's true, he was a captain. That means he could legally marry somebody on his sailboat. He could do a lot of things. I think he could actually execute someone. I'm not sure. You'd have to check. In international care territories, he may be able to do that. But that's a, that's a captain. In fact, maritime law dictates this country. That's why when you go to court, you have to walk onto the bridge. That's maritime law. That's all old school shit. So, I digress. Vegas got shut down. And now the problem is, because they're all so arrogant... This is where the Chinese kind of rule, right? Because they're all about, you know, humbleness. Because, you know, our leaders are so arrogant and they can't admit a mistake. How long do you think it's gonna take them before they say, hey man, we've been hoaxed. Let's turn the lights back on quickly. Oh, oh, oh shit, man, I got hoaxed. Sorry guys, let's turn the lights on. Who's gonna admit that? Anybody, any, any of these bosses gonna do that? Because no, we're gonna make fun of them as soon as they do that. Oh, you asshole. So they're gonna to stick to their story as long as they possibly can. So, wait until you get, wait, have you heard anybody that you know of even have the virus that you personally know? Anybody you personally know? I've talked to people that know people that have had it. And, you know, he caught, the, he caught something, the doctors didn't know what it was, and, you know, he took some antibiotics, it's still in his system, and he got over it, so. And they've all recovered. Like, with no problem, they don't even, they're not even sure if they got, the, they're like, well, they said I had the coronavirus, but, I, I recovered and it wasn't even that serious. I'm not sure if I actually had it. <laughs> but no, you had it. It just was It was what they call fake news. You've all heard of fake news, correct? Well, there you go. Now, I'm telling you this right now. Get to the Hustle Club in Las Vegas. That is the best place right next to the Crazy Horse to find the hottest girls. They don't like my hat. I don't care. But I have to keep sending out the message, okay? So... 
That's why. That's why if you're with us, that's why we're at 966. I like that number anyways. It's a satanic number. It's kind of cool. And it's been like that for a while. Now, I do know how to make the numbers go up because I do know what videos are hot. So when I do the Star Wars stuff with the, with the, you know, the music and the, and the Raider stuff and we say rah, 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 and the numbers go up. That's why everyone else is. But it hasn't been all rah, rah, rah at the stadium. So when we deliver the bad news, everyone calls it fake news. But really, it's just like the math thing. It's like you can call it fake news. I, I know you don't like what we're saying, but unsubscribing and going to someone else that doesn't bring it up, great. Now you're just unaware of what's actually happening. That's why you guys missed the whole trust fuss debacle and how that got delayed. I mean, we called that in June. Everyone you know, unsubscribed from us and went to the other channel. That's when the other channel started really rising up. And we, obviously, stayed where we were at. But we didn't change our story because we were there was no story. We were just telling you what we saw, you know? And we weren't gonna sugarcoat it either because it's very serious when you have a roof issue. Apparently, it was because the whole roof collapsed in November and they had to, got delayed and caused all this sort of issue. Uh, if I if I seemed like that before, if I seemed harsh, it's because there's a lot of shit, shit going down in this town, as you can see. The whole town's been shut down. I was worried that, that the stadium was gonna be built upside down. I didn't want some, somebody to get hurt, you know? That's why we were freaking out. Everyone else didn't care. They were all, all they wanted the stadium was to be built. And that's what happened. Hi. What's going on? Did I wake you up? Oh, I had Joy in there. Okay, I'm going to wrap this thing up. I know, I'm kind of yammering here. Okay, I got to get back to work. She wants, probably wants me to finish that video, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm going to get on that. But Okay, so here's how it works. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I, I'm about halfway done. About, about, about quarter way done. But anyways, I'll get done. Uh, let me think. Um, right, so, but, but the thing is, okay, in order to get those views, the, in order to get monetized, you have, here's the, here, okay, here's the funny thing. In order to get monetized on YouTube, you have to give them your credit card. I was like, why is that? Why do I have to give you money in order for me to get paid? It's like, oh, in case you want to advertise, you know? So, so what I've noticed is, is that they, that they control how much, you know, how much volume I get, how fast they go up and down. And so what I've noticed is, is that as soon as I got around 950, it's like, it kind of, it kind of just stopped going up. It's kind of the kind of tooted around. And it's like, I wonder if it's trying to make me start paying. Weird thing, like, cause if you ever noticed the ads, no, who watches the ads on YouTube? Well, that's what's paying for everything, right? So who watches the ads? It's just the same people, just, it's like an Amway thing. It's like, I'm paying for you, I'm paying the ad for you to get me viewers. And then it offsets. So you guys, for those of you who are still with us, excellent, thank you for staying with us. We really appreciate the support and all the kind comments. And, and for all the other bloggers out there, we, hey man, keep up what you're doing. Because see, we, we, we all, we're a community here. See, I, I, I go to the other bloggers, I look at their stuff. And I say, hey man, that stuff's pretty cool and I build on my ideas. And you guys probably come here and look at my stuff. Let's try to build a community here. So let's all get on the same page because you guys got, we got another 27 days at least. 30 days before they even look at things. We don't know how long this is going to be. And then we have to wonder about the aftermath. What, you think that she's going to turn around? Right. So so in the meantime, for all of us journalists that are here, let's band together. JediRich.com Studios, Las Vegas. That's the place where we're going to be a hub. And you guys can work with me and send me you know, comments, videos, whatever you want. And we'll start putting things together. And all right. Well, that's all I got for today. All right. I'm out. Today is uh, Friday, March 20th, 2020. CE Planet Earth, Las Vegas, Nevada. Current time. Oh, 100 hours and 58 minutes right now. So let's uh, go out there and have have a great day. Let's get all that negative energy off of us. And when you see some, some somebody doing something, say something nice to them. Even if you think about saying something mean, say the opposite if you think about saying something mean. If you feel like writing something mean, write the opposite. Just do it just as an exercise. Who cares? Just say, you're going to say, oh, you dumb bitch. Say, oh, I really like what you said instead. Just see how your day goes when you do that. Just try it for a couple tweaks. Maybe try it all day. I don't think you'll make it, but try it. If you can do it all day with just nothing but comments of positivity, come back, tell me how your day went. If it didn't go any better, you can go back to throwing negative, spewing negative stuff anytime you want. But it's an exercise to try to be positive. So with that, I will see you in a few. I got to get back to work. Not
to death. I'm not impressed. I'm not amused. I'm not confused. I'm not confused. I'm a grown man business. I'm not in school. Put your hand down, youngin'. This is not for you. I'm a jail, my deep with the Kanye, yo. Your name on the marquee, your name off the payroll. Style fresh. Like I'm still a day, yo. And it's been like that since the day, yo. I'm more time than a Rolly or Seiko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get up or get out, get down. Get down. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kali Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out. Check it out. Check it out.